Well, hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from around the world. Uh, it's Timothy Charles Castleberry, and I'm coming to you with a pre-recorded prayer call. I'm taking Betty out for a BISO walk, and I thought it would be a good time to pray with you guys. Uh, we didn't do a prayer call Tuesday, as y'all noticed, and we didn't do one last Tuesday. Uh, I gave an update online. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep into that now. I'll talk a little bit about what's been going on at the next live stream, but uh, I've been working on a lot of different things and it's uh, been pretty interesting, so. But I didn't really uh, do this video to talk about me. I mostly wanted uh, just to pray, uh, but there are a lot a lot of things going on and I'll address a few of them here briefly, but uh, the Las Vegas issue is a pretty big deal uh, that's going on right now. Uh, it's been a couple days since it happened. Uh, my dad's birthday was on Tuesday, or not Tuesday, but on the 2nd of October. Um, that's always kind of a heavy time of year since I lost my dad. Uh, you know, I wish he was here. That's pretty much as simple as I can put it. But, um, you know, the world's got a lot of things going on in it. It's pretty heavy. And everywhere you look, it's pretty heavy. So I think that we need to look for our relief in God. Uh, I've been binge watching uh, Bob Ross and uh, that's been giving me a little bit of joy the joy of painting uh, the the joy of the Lord is our strength and that's a uh, something that we need to remember too and I know in a world that has a shortage of joy and good things uh, there are still some good things worth fighting for and um, we need to go out of our way to notice the good and the positive, uh, to f go out of our way to find the beauty in things. Um, I'm, I've been getting back into my photography and art and stuff like that, and that, that's been a source also of getting out of the world and getting kind of more in the moment, you know? So my brother, ex-brother-in-law was in Las Vegas when it went down, so he was glad he went to his room early that night, and I am too, so, I mean, God was there watching over some people, and you know, a lot of people are calling it a hoax or a false flag, and uh, all I can say is that the information that we're being fed doesn't add up, and uh, I'll talk more about that on my next live stream, but uh, my heart, thoughts, and prayers go out to anybody that was really affected by it. Um, it's a pretty serious deal, so I don't want to make light of it or take, take, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm still assessing my position on all the things, but, uh, we need to not lose our sense of humanity in, in the process either, so, uh, <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. Uh, we still got a, a big situation in Puerto Rico. I'm sure there's still people in Florida and Houston that aren't, um, back to, up to par yet. Uh, you know, we got earthquakes going on in Mexico and everywhere else. Uh, I, the, I could go on and take up the whole time making that list, but um, let's go ahead and pray. So, our Heavenly Father, we just come before you in prayer, humbled with the spirit of thanksgiving. God, uh, help us keep centered on you and help us remember what we are to be thankful for. I know we have an eternity uh, and... There's nothing we could ever do to express our gratitude for uh, coming to salvation and faith by grace. But God, sometimes uh, our faith uh, grows weak, or sometimes our walk grows weak, and uh, we just ask for you to walk with us and help strengthen our walk, um, help strengthen our faith, help us to believe more strongly, and help us perform when we're under pressure uh, more effectively especially spiritually speaking in life. Uh, let us be the best representatives of Christ that we can be. Uh, you loved us enough to, when we were dead in sin, to have your son who was perfect and blameless um, take that sin on himself and to be sacrificed. And we just thank you for that, Father. Um, and in that, we want to honor you and glorify you in the things that we do. So please help us... Uh, to be more effective in honoring and glorifying you in all that we do. Uh, help us to express that unconditional love uh, for our enemies, for our neighbors, uh, and for ourselves. Uh, God, please help um, lift up those that are suffering in the world right now through all that's been going on. 
uh, <laughs> all around the world. Uh, there's catastrophes, and God, I know that uh, there's people really, really suffering uh, right now. There's people going without food, and there's people dying because they can't get the essentials of life. And we just ask that your uh, merciful hand be on their their lives and their situations, uh, wherever they may be. And you tell us in your word that all that cry out to you uh, will be saved. So we just ask right now that you save all those that are crying out to you. And that um, you answer the call of faith. God, that where it could be attributed as faith to any of these people, let them shine with Jesus' righteousness. Uh, all these things we ask in Jesus Christ's name. I know that each and every one of us have our own individual needs. Um, and God knows those needs better than I could request for you. And so on your behalf, I agree with you. And whatever it is that you privately and personally are taking to God right now, I'm in agreement with you. And if it's God's will, it'll be done. And so based on my faith and your faith, um, there's nothing we can't ask if it's God's will. So let us ask in His name. And I just ask for His mercy on your lives, um, for you and your families. I ask for uh, His blessings on y'all's lives as well. And I just ask for His protection on each and every one of you and all of your family members. And in Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Alright guys. <clears throat> I'm going to continue praying uh, on my way back, but I want you guys to um, just be strong in the faith as best you can and know that we all fall short of the glory. And if you do fall short, uh, don't hesitate to come back and don't hesitate to uh, humble yourself to God. And you're always welcome here. So I love each and every one of you. Until next time, this is Timmy O signing off. God bless you guys.